Jean Francois is featured in this Legend Summon. So is Teluria, most nerfed hero in the game. Margaret, who has had a buff. I have both of those nature heroes, so only going to do two pulls. Athena, the hero that we dream of for Titans before my time, but when she first came out, she was used pretty much on every Titan because of that decrease defense special skill. Let's see who we get with our two free pulls. Let's have a look at the rates. 0.9% non-featured hero, 1% featured hero, 1.3% chance for hero of the month, and then the legendary secret hero, secret secret hero, 0.1%. I'd prefer Lady Loki, to be honest. Look at this overlap. It's good versus evil. Good versus evil. Let's see if the superstition of overlapping works. It never does. Cademon. First go round. There's Hell as Athena. Good versus evil. Let's see what prevails. And here we go. Purple for Hell? Hell no. It's Cyprian. So... Food, again, from the Legend Summon. Worth saying happy birthday to Empires and Puzzles while we're here. Very much appreciate the free gift. The paid-for options, not so good, but that Titan Flask will come in handy. So thank you very much for that. That being said, it's time for our main event. It is our Legendary Hero retraining. Will it be... Our first ever non-season one hero. Before 20 pulls. No, it's Thorn. Thorn has got better since the formations. He was always very underrated, according to the developers of Empires and Puzzles. So we might actually keep Thorn. It's only ever we've only ever had two Thorns. That being our second. So as I got costume as La, I don't think I'll have three costume as Lars. I think two is enough. So we are putting Asla in. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week and goodbye.